meteorologists have been predicting for a while that a large earthquake in California is likely to occur in the next few decades. This is certainly troubling information to the UC Berkeley community, since its campus lies on the Hayward Fault Line, which is an active fault part of the San Andreas Fault System. How seismically safe, then, are UC Berkeley's campus facilities, and what can we do to lessen the impact of the next big one? I think I was in Soda Hall, and I was sitting in there, and then like people were talking about, oh, if earthquake happens right now, then uh, we'd probably just die because like the buildings are made of like concrete. I heard a, a couple things about how safe like the buildings were, and there's several buildings that have like a lot of steel in them. So like if an earthquake does happen, like nothing should go wrong. I don't think about it that much, considering the fact that large earthquakes are very rare phenomenon. So what exactly are the chances of a large earthquake occurring in the Bay Area? Dr. Peggy Helweg, who conducts research in UC Berkeley Seismology Lab, says they are likely enough to warrant concerns. There's something like a 60% chance that there'll be a big earthquake in the Bay Area overall in the next 30 years. Mm -hmm. That includes the Hayward Fault, the San Andreas Fault, the San Gorgonio Fault, the Calaveras Fault. We're surrounded by faults, mm -hmm. and any one of them could have a good-sized earthquake. In the past several decades, the university has taken active measures to ensure seismic safety on campus. For example, the SAFER program was launched in 1997 to implement a comprehensive plan on improving seismic safety of the campus buildings. Since then, the university has reduced life safety risks by half, and completed $500 million worth of seismic-related improvements across campus. Buildings that were retrofitted include Doe Library, Hearst Memorial Mining, Worcester Hall, and all of the high-rise residential halls. Dwinnell and Wheeler Halls, where students go to for large lectures, are also considered safe. Yet a few highly populated structures are still rated seismically poor, which means that a major earthquake will result in structural damages that pose significant life hazards. These structures include Evans, Tolman and Campbell, which house mathematics, engineering, and psychology departments. Eshleman Hall, the hub of student activities including those of the ASUC, has been given partial improvements last year, but is still considered one of the seismically unsafe structures on campus. I didn't know okay. that, but I had a f just living in this area and with a lot of older buildings, I had a feeling that a lot of Berkeley buildings would be rated seism seismically poor, but okay. I didn't know this. The biggest obstacle to the initiation of seismic improvement plans seems to be funding. A significant portion of the funds has come from the state, but because of the recent budget crisis, corrective plans for buildings such as Evans and Tolman are currently on hold. There are a lot of other things that need to happen before we could retrofit, before we retrofit any building. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to figure out where to house the staff or students mm -hmm. or anybody who's using it temporarily you know, you need the engineering and the architecture, architectural mm -hmm. work to happen, mm -hmm. but we just don't have the funding to do it right now. In spite of these problems, some construction plans are well underway. The retrofitting of the Memorial Stadium, which lies directly on the fault line, will be completed and rated safe by summer of 2012. Eshleman and Campbell Halls will be replaced with seismically safer buildings in the next five or six years. Yet earthquakes are unpredictable and they can happen at any moment. What can individuals do then to ensure their safety at all times? If you're inside the building, when the shaking starts, don't run out. Hide under your desk. Don't get near a window if you can avoid it. If you're in the street, stand in the middle of the street and not at the edge. All of the buildings, near all of the lecture halls, there's a little sign that says, this is what you should do in case of an earthquake. So in the places that you go regularly, read that sign kind of remember what it says. It seems as if devising a disaster plan in advance would certainly go a long way. For more information about earthquake safety tips, visit seismo.berkeley.edu. And with that, this was Janet Jun reporting for CalTV.